Hello everyone and welcome to Stay Tonight. This is Abhishek and today we will be talking about is the new GitHub Copilot service an actual programming job killer? Because everyone on YouTube have been saying that uh, now that this GitHub has launched a new service based on OpenAI, which can automatically write codes, jobs will be lost on a large scale. Well, to you know set uh, the course for this video correct, I don't think that's the case and you should not be worrying about you know, GitHub Copilot service taking away your job. So talking about the GitHub Copilot service, it surely sets a good direction for uh, the future because if you think uh, it in this way, there, have, there already have been a lot of tools for writers to help them write good content like Grammarly is there, there, there are different tools to check plagiarism, there are different tools to check spellings. Uh, it has always been there, even MS Word you know, helps you check the spelling. So, and similarly, we also as developers have had IDEs, integrated development environments like Eclipse, PyCharm, and they're so good. Sublime is there, you can add plugins on top of Sublime. There is Atom, you can add more plugins onto Atom. So there already have been tools that can help developers write good code. And we always had Google, we could search for any problem online and we could, you know, simply uh, Google it, uh, we could find solutions on Stack Overflow, take different blogs around on the internet and could find the solution to a problem very easily. Now, this is a service which can do that inside your code editor itself. So it will just save your time. It will never make you redundant. So you should not be worrying about, you know, uh, if I will get a job, maybe, you know, one year down the line, once this service is available publicly, I don't think that should be uh, you know, uh, that should be the fear that you should be keeping with you right now. You should be focusing on increasing or, you know, growing your skills in terms of development. And that's the more important thing to focus on. I saw one video which I was really impressed or I would say initially I was also, you know, uh, shocked, I would say, because uh, I saw a video where a developer was uh, picking up algorithm problems from lead code and he started from easy ones and then moved on to medium difficulty ones and then hard difficulty ones and all we are supposed to do uh, is copy paste the problem description into the code editor give the signature of the function provide the basic signature of the function and github copilot automatically completes the entire code and the code that GitHub Copilot suggested also passed all the tests on lead code with about 86% accuracy and uh, uh, percentile that it was better than or it was faster than 86% of the solution submitted. So yes, it is a good, uh, a very intelligent service, but I don't think that uh, it can any time soon replace human beings in terms of uh, development because the logic part is still something that humans have to be involved in. The code for common algorithmic problems can be suggested by uh, GitHub Copilot because they are already available on the internet. People have written solutions, people have asked questions around those and uh, a service which is learning constantly from internet sources like Stack Overflow, different forums, different blogs can find solutions to problems which are already there like finding uh, how to write a program to find a palindrome or similar uh, problems which are already listed on various websites. Solutions can be found for that, but when it comes to real life problems, then uh, I don't think this service will work too well. Uh, on top of it, uh, the new thing that I think uh, young programmers or young developers or enthusiasts who want to get into this field should come should focus on is <clears throat> work on developing your skills uh, in terms of aptitude in terms of problem solving abilities in terms of your iq uh, which includes practicing uh, being good with mathematics being good with uh, uh, general uh, quantitative and qualitative abilities because that will automatically help you in uh, solving real life problems because again if it's about writing code you can always get help from github copilot you just have to be the problem solver so uh, also another thing that i think uh, github copilot or in future can change because now we know that how the future will look like so uh, i think in future companies will focus more on people who are good problem solvers and i 
think that people have already started moving in that direction because writing code is not a, a, a skill anymore. Anyone can write a code. You don't have to be good with understanding the syntax. You don't have to be good with learning what all library functions or what all references a certain programming language have. You have to be good with uh, solving problems or solving uh, logical uh, you know, uh, issues that uh, we face when we create softwares or applications. If you can do that, everything else is just writing code and everything else is just knowing the syntax, which again is something that will slowly would not be that important. So when you do, uh, you know, solve problems of algorithm on websites like Lead Code or Hacker Inc, Hacker Earth, focus on the concepts behind, focus on uh, the idea or focus on uh, how you, you know, uh, arrive uh, to the decision that, okay, this problem will be solved by this uh, logic or this algorithm can help me solve such problems. So that is the skill to uh, learn uh, now moving forward. Also, system design would be a great field to understand or jump into because when problems are presented to you, they are mostly, mostly if it's about an application or software which is uh, catering to uh, a large user base, then system design plays a very important role and these are, and application these days uh, take it very seriously because uh, distributed uh, setups have been there for a while now. And if you do not understand how system design works on the code level or on the base level, then just understanding or just knowing how to solve uh, problems using algorithms and data structures wouldn't help you much moving forward. So all in all, I don't think we should be focusing on GitHub Copilot taking away jobs. Yes, in the future, things can go a little opposite in the opposite direction because Things are getting automated and we humans are working on automating things. So the basic uh, uh, requirement of writing simple codes can go away or it will obviously be, you know, there'll be tools which will make it easier for developers to write uh, code uh, to create softwares and applications. And that has already started to happen. For example, if you want to create a website, there are already services like Wix.com using which you can easily develop a website without even writing code. And it's not that Wix.com is a recent uh, invention. It has already been there for about seven, eight minimum, seven, eight years minimum or even more. And there have been websites like this. We have had WordPress since forever. I can say since forever because it's been a long time since WordPress have been, has been there. And a lot of websites have been created over WordPress and successful businesses have been created uh, using WordPress. So it's not about... Uh, uh, you know, tools and services which help us do. It's about uh, the human potential that we have and we can use that to, you know, uh, create wonderful things and that can never be replaced by AI, not in the recent, uh, you know, five or ten years. Maybe if something revolutionary happens and we just think and things are created, then we all will have to look for something else to do. Until then, I think we all are safe and we should focus on improving our skills, learning new things, try to become a problem solver and everyone would want to have you uh, in their team, in their company working for them. I hope you like this video. I hope you like uh, what I just talked about. If you uh, you know enjoyed listening to this video or watching this video, do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends to uh, tell them about what uh, GitHub Copilot is. I've already registered uh, to get an early access. So I'm a little late to uh, register for the early access, but I'm already registered to get uh, an early access for GitHub uh, Copilot service. And as soon as I get it, I will create another video to uh, share what all things uh, this amazing tool can do and how it can help you in writing code in your day-to-day -day life. Until then, do subscribe to our channel. I'll be more involved in creating more videos on YouTube and we'll bring out some amazing stuff for you guys, more podcasts like this. And I hope you enjoy all those videos like you have enjoyed our videos till now. Thank you so much for watching the video and take care.